Hi, I'm Marcus Goller. I started Lynx Wind. And uh, basically why I started it is I've been experimenting with wind for several years, developing these uh, vertical axis wind turbines. And this is basically just a fulfillment of, of the work I've done. I wanted to develop them and bring them to market. Um, this particular kind of wind turbine is not going to power your house. It's going to be great for boaters, um, sheds, cottages, campers, if you wanted to power a room in your house this would be great. This is the type of wind turbine that I've been working on for the past couple years. Um, it's called a vertical axis wind turbine um, because it spins around this way. It doesn't have to find the wind. It always finds the wind. Um, I've been attracted to these because they're quiet. Um, they go in the slightest of breeze. They'll produce power. If there's two watts of power in the in the breeze, it'll make power for you. Um, they also won't uh, furl at high speeds. They'll just keep eating up the wind. So I really like this type. I think they're pretty as well. Now typically a wind turbine isn't going to just spin up this easy. Um, most wind turbines take a considerable amount of wind to get started. That's because their alternators um, will cog and what that means is the magnets are attracted to the steel laminates in the alternator. This particular alternator does not have any steel in it, so it's free to spin. Um, because winds are so variable, the power output from a wind turbine puts out what is called wild AC. So if this wind turbine is turning really fast, the alternating current voltage might be up to you know, 30, 40 volts. If it slows down, the voltage drops. It isn't the kind of power that you can use directly in your house because it would really destroy most um, electrical devices. So to tame this wild AC, we put it through um, a battery. Um, basically the battery is like a bucket. You can splash a little bit or squirt a lot into the bucket and it doesn't really matter. Okay, hooking up the turbine to the system is pretty easy. Um, we're going to take the red and black wire, connect it to the battery. Red to battery positive, black to battery negative. And we're going to come off the battery and come to the inverter. And those are color marked as well. And then what you do is you just simply plug in. I'm going to plug into these are 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs. And just turn it on. So that's how you hook it up the wind turbine. Pretty straightforward. So what we've done is we've taken the power from our wind turbine or solar panel. We're going into a 12 volt battery, storing the power just like you would in a bucket. Just fill the bucket up and then when you need the power, spill some of the power out of the bucket. As long as the bucket doesn't run dry, you can keep pulling power out of it. This is the inverter. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the 12 volt power, it's going to convert it into 110 volt AC. So we're going to convert it back into alternating current, which is what you use in your house. All right, here's the battery voltage you can see right here. It's 12.84. I'm going to turn the inverter on. We've got our lights and our laptop running. You can see how the battery voltage is dropping. It's because we're using some of the power out of the battery. Now, if I run the turbine at the same time, or a solar panel, I've got an alternator in my hand, I'm going to turn it. I'm only putting in probably two to four watts right now. But nobody wants to crank all day, so that's what a wind turbine is for. The other thing about this kind of wind turbine is it really should just cost about as much as a uh, small vacuum cleaner at the most. Right now they're, they're kind of expensive because they're, a lot of these components are handmade. Uh, they're made in small quantities. And so really um, these are for people that want to help make an investment in wind to bring it to, bring it to the masses. Um, there's no reason why these can't be made larger. 
and uh, really, really inexpensively. There's not a lot of components in these. But, you know, it's kind of like digital watches. At first they were eight, nine hundred dollars, now you give them away. So I'm kind of hoping to further um, wind power and technology and, and just make this a part of our whole energy scheme. Anyway, thank you for watching.